And we have a sample of this in our repository, so I do have one set up. Let me find it in my gigantic list of agents here. Trigger Jenkins. Oh, it's right there. So if we open this up, since this is a shell agent, of course, we're just running a batch file. But if we take a look at the project itself, which I'll open up here in just a moment, Where is it? There it is, Millennium. In our GitHub repository, we have a sample of how to run this, and it's going to be contain a lot of code files, but this is the directory that is actually responsible for running those tests. So you can see that we have a demo project that is located within this directory, but you get all of the scripts that come along with it as well. Most of these are written in Python. However, the scripts that kick it off are written in batch or in shell for Linux and uh, Mac. The uh, batch file is responsible for pulling the, uh, the latest code out of the GitHub repository, and it will also kick the test off, the build procedure with the test. And then afterwards, it will kick off another procedure that will be in Python that will be uh, responsible for parsing the files and uh, delivering those test results back to QTest via the API. So in order to keep this at a high level, I won't go into the code itself. However, if I schedule one of these tests from QTest, We have a couple of different samples here. Actually, we'll just go ahead and schedule all of these from a high level up here. And I mentioned before how we schedule these. And you can schedule them through Universal Agent, but this is how you actually kick them off from Manager itself. We have a little dialog that win, uh, window that opens up. And as soon as I can find it in my list of agents, yet again, there we go. We have several different options that are available to us here that aren't available to us on the automation host. We can run them ad hoc immediately upon scheduled, which will happen whenever the polling interval takes place on the automation host. Also, we can set them to run at a specific date or time. Uh, we can also set up a recurrence. So maybe you have a nightly regression test that you want to have happen at two in the morning when everybody's off the system. You'll be able to uh, kick that off here. You set the date and the time that you want it to start, pick up a daily repeat, and then you could have it end after a number of occurrences or also on a specific date. However, since this is my local laptop, we're not going to do any of that. We're just going to kick this one off immediately. And that would schedule it. And the, uh, eight, uh, the uh, host will kick off and run that agent. I just pulled now so we can bypass it. And then we'll get test results that come into QTest. I think I might have accidentally dragged one of these out of the folder. Uh, but then you end up with your test results down here in the bottom of the screen. So our entire execution history will show up in here every time you ex export one of these tests, and uh, it'll show up within your test run history. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe to the Tricentis Academy channel to get the latest tips, tricks, and user tutorials to help you best utilize Tricentis continuous testing platform. For more information, please visit tricentis.com/academy.